In our last episode, King Leonardo had decided to stage a stage play in honor of King Loco's royal visit to Bongo Congo. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Splendid, sire. But that is Joliet's part. Oh, yes, good point. We must have a Joliet. I have it. Lynetta Lyon. Lynetta accepted, never dreaming what Biggie Rad and Itchy Brother were plotting. We're gonna capture Lynetta Lyon. Hollywood and King Leonardo will each pay a million bongo bucks to get her back. Wow, Biggie, that's like a hot plot. Oh, yeah. Where do we come the queen? Right off the stage, stupid. It says in the paper they're casting for people to take parts in the play. Why get men? in? It's okay, Big, I dig. Yeah, to be or not to be, that is the... Only a short while later, Lynette Lyon arrived. Oh, darling, you are so sweet to me. Here, my flowers for my chalet, the king. My goodness, sire, I do believe she forgot to remove the vase. Hmm, women. Welcome on behalf of old Bongo Congo. Oh, you sweet little darling. Oh. theater for a dress rehearsal. Of course you have some, darling. I am ready now. But at the theater, there were two very suspicious-looking spear carriers. Yeah, but, uh, gee, Big, who ever heard of a uh, spear carrier speaking? I want to, like, uh, get something I can sink my teeth into. I get weathered, Guy. I get Lynetta during dress rehearsal, see? Now, here's the plan. I feel so Dress rehearsal began on schedule, and things went smoothly until the balcony scene. Romeo, Romeo, darling, wherefore art thou, Romeo, darling? But before Romeo, that is, King Leonardo, could answer, a hand whisked Lynetta Lyon off the balcony, and immediately another hand untied the rope which held up the balcony. car hidden behind the theater, Biggie and Itchy made their getaway with Lynetta Lyon. <laughs> Two hours after Lynetta's capture, Odie Colony reported to his king. Not a trace, sire. It is as if they vanished into thin air. Confound it, this is terrible. Lynetta Lyon captured, my play ruined, King Loco arriving tomorrow. What can I do? A message for the, for the king. Oh, no. It's from Biggie Rat. He wants a million bongo bucks from me and a million dollars from Hollywood for the return of Lynetta. I'm ruined. I don't even have a million bongo bucks. And it is doubtful about Hollywood, too, sire. What with TV and all. Garcia, where did you get this message? From a car. Two guys and a gal. One of the guys give it to me. Didn't you know we were after them? But it was too late now. And all seemed utterly hopeless, until the messenger Garcia turned to leave. Look, sire, on his back, some words written in lipstick. It says, on boat, fishy dock. It must be a message from Lynetta Lyon. Yes, the clever Lynetta Lyon had overheard the villains say where they planned to hide her. Without them seeing, she'd written the message on Garcia's back. Armed with this information, the king and Odie found Lynetta and made short work of the two villains. And the King's stage play went on as scheduled. Romeo, Romeo, darling. Wherefore art thou, Romeo, darling? The play was a smashing comedy. But Biggie Rat, at that very moment, was escaping from jail. What new plot does Biggie Rat have in store for King Leonardo? Don't miss the next exciting episode of The King and Odie.